says it's, it's forced her to realize that um, she needs to look at situations differently now from a whole lot of different angles. And doing that is going to make your paper all the more Hi. <laughs> Are you out here doing research? No, we came for you. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay, that's a wonderful surprise. What else? What else does this do? Um, I guess for me, it just use the work of others to somewhat substantialize and bolster what you, your ideas are so that you can show that, you know, although you're a student and you're not necessarily a scholar yet, you're moving towards that arena. Excellent. Did you all hear what he said? To use the work that other people have done already to substantiate what it is that you are doing. And in doing that, it would demonstrate your growth and your development into becoming a good scholar. Excellent. Very, very good. Yes, ma'am. I would say something really positive that your presentation has highlighted that I wish I knew earlier is probably the importance of writing down what you've read. So you might read something, but you should write, you know, whether it be as extensive as an annotated bibliography or just a note on the top of the article so that when you go to it, you can kind of remember how you felt when you read it. Kevin, you can't reread everything. Tell them what I have for that. <laughs> okay, first things first, you need to write. Anything you read, you write about it. Even if it's a paragraph, it's a sentence, and more importantly, it's pooling that information. So if it was like index cards, you got piles. So those articles, each article you read after you summarize it should go in a pile that says they all agree about this or they all disagree about that. So over time, your stuff will cross over to a point where... And in addition to that, there's actually a manual that accompanies this workshop. And I would be happy to send it to you all for your charge. <laughs> but I used to do this as a consultant. And I've traveled to universities around the country, and I've given this workshop. And there's a manual in it that has pages where when you read an article, it has a list of things that you are to ask yourself while reading it. And then you write it down. And in one column, it's summary. The next column is, what do I think? The next column is, I agree or disagree. Then the next one is, what about, you know, what, how has my argument been enhanced? So I will make sure that you all get copies of that manual, which has those pages in there and those worksheets in it that will um, force you to engage it. The goal of that is so that was when I um, created it was um, for you to have compiled a big old stack of not only summaries of articles, but critical engagements with articles so that when it's time to finish the thesis, or the dissertation, or the paper, or the article, you will already have your own sketch, and not just regular sketch, but nuanced sketch of um, your engagement with the articles. So, um, good. Okay? And um, let me hear from my um, computer information scientist since you allowed us to use your research thoughts as um, one of the examples. How are you going to approach your research differently now with these ideas in mind? Go ahead. You can tell they're working as a group, right? Well, I'm going to say this, so like, I'm not even in grad school yet, but and they are. So put your um, they, they close. Right, they, they understood like the importance of research. Like certain mistakes I made, not like not indexing or keeping track of what you read, and then you have to go back and find the and stuff like that. But I think uh, just this seminar has, has helped me understand that becoming like insert yourself into that that conversation among scholars doesn't have to be something that's so esoteric, like you okay. know, just for a specific. It's a nice G R E word. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not so esoteric. Okay. It's just it's not as hard as I thought. It was. Okay, and I, I like that comment, and that's an excellent point for me to conclude the seminar with. And that is that the entire purpose was to demystify the writing process for your papers in your classroom, 
for the thesis and for the dissertation. Because oftentimes there are little secrets, right, Dr. Alexander, <laughs> that you are not told about when you are dealing with professors. Graduate school is about being an individual and conducting research independently of other students and of your professors. And so oftentimes in isolation, you are not told certain things. We presuppose that you know how to engage articles, distinguish your arguments, situate yourself into a dialogue that's already going on. And so oftentimes, we as graduate students or students who are expected to do research type um, papers, we suffer a lot of stress around the writing process because nobody is really telling us what to do. Did you want to add something, sir? I saw your hand. When you're done. done. No, go yeah, ahead. Want, no, well, your, your question was what have uh, we gained? Mm -hmm. um, I, I oftentimes struggle kind of being bashful about being very pompous or um, abrasive. Um, this will kind of give me cues as to how to introduce yourself into a forum without being, um, without being abrasive, being, being assertive without being abrasive. Excellent. And that was one of the goals as well, is to allow yourself as a student and a growing scholar to find and assert your voice and to be able to assert it in a way that we know that you are an authority but also in a way that's respectful of and um, indicative of your understanding of the knowledge that's already existed and of the work that scholars have already done. So I hope that in some way that as a result of this seminar you have found yourself um, one right step closer to becoming a very good scholar.